we do consider the results of this study practice changing. I think it's important that as improvements in systemic therapy occur and as patients present with smaller disease burdens, we reevaluate what we're doing in local therapy. The rules that we have used for local therapy in the case of axillary dissection were made over a hundred years ago, and the breast cancer that we see now is very different. So I think these results are practice changing. At Memorial Sloan Kettering, we have indeed changed our practice in agreement with our medical oncologists and radiation oncologists to adopt this for patients with one or two involved sentinel lymph nodes meeting the other criteria I discussed. I think everyone will have a varying level of comfort with these results. And while it's certainly perhaps not necessary to adopt it for everyone, I think that the idea that every single patient who has any degree of lymph node involvement needs a completion axillary dissection is not consistent with what we know about the beneficial effects of systemic chemotherapy and endocrine therapy on controlling local disease. Randomized trials have shown that patients who receive those therapies have much lower rates of local recurrence, for example, in the breast than patients who do not, and there's no reason to believe that the effect on axillary nodes is any different, and I think the Z11 study demonstrates that.